Hi guys, today we're going to talk about density. Now what is density? It's the mass per unit volume. It's normally got the units either grams per centimeters cubed or you can have kilograms per meters cubed. Although Cambridge does seem to like grams per centimeter cubed. So, how do we work out density? It's equal to the mass divided by volume. Now, mass, it could be grams or kilograms. Volume, it could be centimeters cubed or meters cubed. Now the triangle for this is density times the body volume at the bottom here, and we have mass on the top. Now, if you want to find out density, put your hand over the density, we do mass divided by volume. If you want to work out the mass of an object, density times by volume. If you want to work out the volume of a shape, you do the mass divided by the density. So let's have a look at an example. Now here we've got a simple regular shape. We'll have the length of this object. Okay, and let's imagine this is going to be 20 centimeters. Maybe the, the width could be, let's say 10 centimeters. And finally, the height of the object would equal, uh, say, 20 centimeters. Now, the first thing we need to do is find out what's the volume of this object. So, volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. Okay? In this case, our length is 20 centimeters. Our width is 10 centimeters, and then finally, our height is 20 centimeters. Okay, so 20 times 10 times 20, 20 times 20 is 400, 400 times 10 is 4,000. And as we've been using centimeters, and we've multiplied it three times, we end up with centimeters cubed. Okay, great, that's our volume, but we still haven't found our density. Now let's imagine our material here is 40 grams. Okay, so going back to our triangle, we want to find out the density. So we're going to do the mass divided by the volume. Okay, so our mass is 400 grams divided by 4,000 centimeters cubed. Okay. So 4 divided by 400, we're going to get 0 0.01 grams per centimeter cubed. Okay, that's how you find the density of a regular solid. Now what's going to happen if we need to find the density of an regular shaped object. How are we going to find the density of an irregular shaped object? Well, there are two different methods. You've got an object, you have no idea how to calculate its volume because it's all over the place. This could be a stone or something. Now there's two different methods that you can use. Number one, you can get a measuring cylinder. Here's my little measuring cylinder. And you part fill it with water. Now, when you drop your little object inside, down it goes. What's going to happen is the water is going to rise up. So the water is going to come up here. And your object's now in the water. Now, all you need to do is measure the difference in the volume. Now, 
most measuring cylinders, the scale along the side here is milliliters. But one milliliter of water is equal to one centimeter cubed. So you find the difference here in the volume. That's going to tell you the volume of your object. So that's one method where you use a measuring cylinder. Another way you can do it is if you get something called a Eureka can, and you fill it up completely with water, and you have your little measuring cylinder here. There we go, there's a nice little measuring cylinder. Okay, and this is empty, and then this is full of water. You get your object again, maybe on a piece of string, and you put it inside the water. Now what's going to happen is, some of that water is going to leave here and fill up your measuring cylinder. Now all you need to do, once you've filled up the measuring cylinder with the water that's been uh, displaced by the Eureka can, you just read what the measurement says here in millilitres. That's going to tell you your volume in centimetres cubed. Then you just go away measure your, your little object on a uh, maybe a digital scale or something like that so you can work out the mass then just go back to your triangle you know the mass you know the volume you can work out the density mass divided by volume is going to give you the density